We also need Ukraine to make changes to fix the broken immigration system here. A lot on his mind, Johnny. Over a billion, three hundred million, trillion, three hundred million dollars. <laughs> right now ain't a good time to ask. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the goal, you know the, you know the thing. I trust you know 2% nothing's fucking nothing. I'm among many qualified people. I'm the best qualified people person for this job. The failure to properly value your freedom in the promising days ahead. I'm beginning to see why your wife left you. Don't lie either against me breaking your fucking jaw. Why, 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 Because I'm sometimes that stupid. You know, the rapidly rising, uh, uh, with, uh, I don't know. Uh, and fuck us all anyway for the limber dick cocksuckers we are. Well, howdy again. I got another one for you. You'll be pleased with this one. I doubt. But it seems from AP that, uh, the vendor that handled the Pennsylvania virus data uh, to pay $2.7 million in federal whistleblower taste. And uh, we'll jump into that here. Let's see, I'll scoot this up here. And let's take a look. Yeah, vendor that mishandled the Pennsylvania virus data to pay $2.7 million in federal whistleblower case. A large staff firm that performed COVID-19 contact tracing for Pennsylvania and exposed the private medical information of about 72,000 residents will pay $2.7 million in a settlement with the Justice Department and the company whistleblower, federal prosecutors announced Wednesday. That's today. The Pennsylvania Department of Health paid Atlanta-based Insight Global tens of millions of dollars to administer the state's contact tracing program during the height of the pandemic. The company was responsible for identifying and contacting people who had been exposed to the coronavirus so they could quarantine. Employees used unauthorized Google accounts, readily viewable online, to store names, phone numbers, email addresses, phone COVID-19 exposure status, sexual orientations, and other information about residents who had been reached for contact tracing even though the company's contact with the state required it to safeguard such data. State health officials fired Insight Global in 2021 after the data breach came to light. A subsequent federal whistleblower lawsuit alleged that Insight Global secured its lucrative contract with Pennsylvania knowing that it lacked secure computer systems and adequate cybersecurity. Isn't that wonderful? Now, I'll give you an example here. I took that 72,000 residents and I divided those 72,000 into 2.7 million. And even if those people did get some money, do you know how much money each one of them is going to get? $35.50. So basically, these people were just doxxed completely so that people could steal their identities from this company and this company would give them $35.50. Really which I doubt seriously that they're going to get any of it anyway because it's going to it's a settlement with the justice department and a company whistleblower 
Okay. So they they didn't win anything on behalf of the people who were docked. The Justice Department got seven two point seven million dollars. Okay, well what about the people that got docked? That's how our shit works. You know, they'll they'll throw your information out there. You'll probably get nothing. But the Justice Department, well, we won't do it again. Smack, smack on the back of the hand. Yeah, okay. We'll probably hire them next time, too. This shit's ridiculous. It really is. Enough to light your ass on fire. Anyway, that's a quick one. Thought I'd get it out to you. Y'all have a good day. Like, share, and subscribe. I need that support. Have a good day.